In order to use the e-filing service to submit your tax forms to federal and state government entities electronically, first you need to create an account on our website. Watch this lesson for step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your account so you can start e-filing today. After completing this lesson, you will be able to create an account to use to e-file your tax forms. The online account is only required if you plan to use the e-filing option. If you do not plan to utilize the e-filing option, and instead plan to use Atrix to produce physical copies of forms that will be printed and mailed to the government agencies, an account is not required. However, you may still want to take advantage of the other areas of the site which we will explain momentarily, so we recommend you create the account whether you plan to e-file or not. The first step to utilizing the e-filing service that Atrix provides is to create an account on the Atrix e-file site. Visit efile.atrix.com and click the enroll link in the top right to get started. Now we complete the registration screen starting by assigning a username and password for the account we're creating. Then specify your accounting package and the software vendor field should populate automatically. Specify your contact information, and once you've completed the screen, click Save Changes and your account will be created. And now we are at the home screen. Let's get started by adding our company information. Enter your EIN, and in the Verify EIN field, enter it again to confirm it was entered correctly. Then enter your company name and address. and the number of employees that are currently working for your company. And now enter the contact information of the person at the company that should be contacted by the e-file center should there be a need to. And now decide if you would like to add your company's bank account information to your Atrix e-filing account. One of the options that Atrix provides is to make federal tax payments for forms such as the 940 or Form 941 from directly within your software. If you would like to take advantage of this feature, click to add your bank account information. If you are unsure, you can always add this information in later by clicking the company's link from the home page. This option is only required if you plan to make your tax deposits via Atrix. It is not required in order to use Atrix to print or e-file tax forms. And finally, Select the states you pay taxes and file tax forms in. And once done, click Save Changes. In order for Atrix to have the ability to file tax returns on your behalf, there is an authorization form that must be completed. Click the link at the top of the page. The Atrix eFile authorization form will open. Print this, sign it, and then follow the instructions on the form to fax or mail it in to grant Atrix the authorization to file tax forms on your company's behalf. Now let's go back to the home page and look at some of the other areas on the site you will want to be familiar with. The first area we would like to highlight is the calendar slash notification system you can set up on this site to help make sure a due date is never missed. Click the link to start setting this up. The Reminder Configuration Wizard window will open, which will guide you through the process of configuring notifications tailored to your company's payroll schedule. Click the Next button to get started. The first step in the wizard is to select your federal filing frequency. Once you have made your selection, click Next. Now, select which states you file tax forms with or make tax payments to. The states you selected earlier in the registration process are displayed here. To select them all, click Check All. Then click Next. For each state that you selected, select the appropriate filing frequencies. Then click Next. Now select the length of your pay periods. Click Next. And finally, select the day of the week that you distribute paychecks to your employees. 
and again click Next. Now a calendar appears, showing your pay dates for the entire calendar year. You can scroll down and make changes to account for any holidays or other reasons you may not be issuing paychecks on your normal pay cycle. And once you have confirmed that the calendar has the correct pay date specified, click Next. If you need to make changes to any of the selections you have made during this process, click the Edit button next to the section you would like to modify. Or, if everything appears to be correct, click Next to continue. Now, a new calendar appears, showing dates highlighted in red where you will have items due, such as when tax deposits will need to be made or when a payroll is due to be completed. These events are presented in a list form on the right-hand side as well. And now, when you go back to the home page, you will see reminders for any upcoming due dates. You will also receive these notifications by email when items are coming due. If you would also like to receive notifications regarding upcoming due dates by text message, click the Update SMS slash Text Information link on the right-hand side. And then on the screen that opens, enter your cell phone number and your cell phone carrier. E-filing can be done on a report-by-report -report basis, or you can purchase an e-file package that offers significant cost savings. If you would like to take advantage of the cost savings we can offer by purchasing an e-file package, click the link to go to a page that will explain the pricing options for all of the different packages we offer. Another area on the site you will want to view is the filings page. This is where you would go to check the status of any form you have previously e-filed with Atrix. And lastly, if you have questions, use the Help Center in the bottom right to search the Atrix FAQs for an answer. We now have our e-filing account set up and ready to use. Now that you have completed this lesson, you should be able to create your account to use for e-filing of tax forms in your software.